What the? Let's take a ride. Down to the computer clubhouse. We're going to learn about Scratch. Scratch lets you program your computer to do everything you see here, and a lot more. You program your computer by stacking blocks on top of each other and inside of each other, like this. We'll see how to program later, but first, let's see what you can do. Imagine if you could take your everyday real-world life and put it into a virtual world. Say you're hanging out in your room, jumping on your bed, wishing you had a trampoline. What if you could take a couple pictures of yourself, download them to your computer, cut them out, and then bring them into a virtual world? You could create that virtual world in Scratch. You might start with a trampoline, then bring yourself into the picture. You could write a program in Scratch to make yourself bounce around and do some tricks. And you could add your favorite background. You can probably already imagine other times that you would want to take your real world into the virtual world. Say you're breaking, and you got most of your moves down the way that you want them. But there's just that one hand freeze that you can't hold long enough. So you take a picture of yourself, download it to your computer, and cut it out. Then maybe you have another picture of yourself sitting on your computer that doesn't have anything to do with dancing. Take that picture and cut it out too. Then we go into Scratch to make ourselves dance. In Scratch, you can hold that hand freeze as long as you want to. Hey, hey, hey. You can also make yourself dance in new, weird ways, and add in some fat beats. Hey, hey, hey. Search the internet to find a cool background, and you're ready to go. But how does it all work? How do you make the dancer do exactly what you want? See those stacks of code over on the left? They tell the dancer exactly how to dance to the beat. Now that you've seen a couple of things you can do with Scratch, I'll show you how to use Scratch. First, I'll open up Scratch.exe. Let me show how I make a dancer in three quick steps. First, change the costumes. Second, make my sprite dance to a fat drum track. Third, give my sprite some power moves. Alright, so how do I change the costume? I switch to the Costumes tab and click on Import. I can pick my favorite dancer sprite costume. I could even use a picture of myself if I happen to have one. I like this one. If I want to, I can paint my own dancer instead of importing a picture. Alright, there we go. But I think I like the picture better. So I'll cut the stick figure with these scissors and switch back to the B-Girl. If I switch to the background real quick, I can put a graffiti costume in the background. Now I'll switch back to the dancing sprite and let's get this B-Girl dancing. I'll change her name from Sprite 1 to B-Girl. Now what about the computer code block? What happens if I drag a block into my programming space and double click on it? The dancer moves 10 tiny little steps to the right. If I get the stamp tool, I can copy the move block. I'm going to change the number in the block to negative 10. Now, when I click the copied block, my B-Girl moves to the left. But now I want to get this girl dancing to a beat. There's a different code under each of these menus. The drums are under the sound menu. The drum blocks snap into place if I drop them right under the move blocks. 
The drum block will play whatever drum I choose from the drop-down menu. So, it looks like we almost have her dancing back and forth with this stack of blocks. Let me snap all the code together in one big stack. But, instead of clicking on the stack every time, what if I could control the code to run forever by itself? I'll put the whole stack of code inside the forever block. Whoops! Gotta grab the stack by the top. It snaps into the mouth of the forever block if I drop it here. I love how I can mess with the settings in my stack of code while everything's running. I can change my beagle step size. Now she moves 30 steps each time. I can also change her rhythm. She's kind of going crazy right now, so I'll chill her out by making each drum last longer. There's all kinds of drums we can play, even Chinese cymbals. Alright. Let's connect that stack of code to the Go flag, so if someone else wants to use my code later, they can just click Stop and Go. Wow, we're to my favorite part. I'm going to give my B-girl some power moves. I'll start with some hip shaking and end with some head squeezes and flips. Under the Looks menu, we can play with some graphics effects kind of like in Photoshop. I can change the color effects. The whirl makes her move her hips. And the fisheye blows her up like a balloon. Let me reset all that real quick. And I'll throw these blocks back where they came from and try to get her hips shaken by setting the whirl effect. Now, I'm going to grab some weight blocks so I can tell the dancer to move her hips one way, wait, and then move her hips the other way. Okay, I've got her shaking her hips. If I get one of these blocks, I can hook the dancer up so she's controlled by the computer keyboard. Now, if someone walks up and pushes the left arrow key, my dancer shakes her hips. I want to add some sound effects to the hip shaking. Here's a couple sound effects that are already loaded in. I'm going to load a couple of my own, a bass and snare drum from a human beatbox, and two samples from a DJ record I have. I'll get a sound block and set it to play a sample from the DJ mix. Then, if I break the stack apart, I can squeeze my sound sample in the middle of the code. Check this out, it's really cool. I can copy that whole stack of code just by right-clicking. Then I can change the settings on my copy, so I get a new power move. The B-girl should fisheye and play a bass drum when I push the C button on the keyboard. Now for the last power move. I'm going to teach my B-girl to do a head freeze. I'll grab a turn block and see what it does when I click on it. I wanted to turn faster than that, so I'll change the degrees from 15 to 60. Now I want to control my code to repeat the turn three times. That way I can get the B-girl to stand on her head. Now I'm going to hook up the keyboard so that she does the head freeze whenever someone pushes the right arrow key. If I click on the background, Scratch will clean up my code for me. Now I'll just add a quick sound effect to the head freeze. Let's see what it all does. Alright, looks like we've got our final product. 
Now you can try to build this project yourself and add extra power moves or more dancing sprites. You could also check out the sample project. There's a lot of them. Or you can make any project you want. It's totally up to you. Thanks for riding with me. I'll check you later.